Hey, have you heard about this? Yeah, didn't you hear about Michael's death? No, what happened? He was a Nigerian student at our university and he had kidney failure and needed yeah. a transplant. But you know, due to this crazy law, uh, it made it impossible for him to get the treatment on time and save his life. I cannot believe something awful can happen in 21st century. That's so true. I don't know. I was even speaking to some of his friends and it was heartbreaking. How They were saying how nice he is and everything. Uh, that fateful um, Saturday morning, um, I woke up very early. I had an intuition to quickly rush um, and check his bed. Um, as I rushed to, the, um, to where he was lying down, I noticed that he was breathing frantically and in an unusual manner. I've never seen people breathing in that way. I quickly called um, the emergency. Um, they instructed that we should not pick him up. We should leave him that they will be around in a few minutes. So. In a matter of around four minutes, the emergency guys were there. And then um, we rushed to the hospital. Um, the hospital had to transfer him to Lefkosha because uh, the, near, um, the hospital closer to us said this case is too, ser too serious for them to handle. So we have to make another trip of around 30 minutes to the general hospital. And he was put in an intensive care unit um, where he spent close to eight hours. Um, uh, Michael was more than a friend to me. Um, we are housemates for over three years. We share things in common. He was also a church member also. Um, but November 2018 became a defining moment in our lives. And then he was diagnosed of um, kidney failure. Um, after that fateful day, um, it became a challenge many trips to the hospital, many emergencies. Um, we had challenges of um, dialysis. Some of the pains he normally suffers after the dialysis. So countless mornings of, for meeting. It was not an easy one, but um, I saw a very strong personality. Despite the challenges, he was very upbeat. Um, we fought hard for him to finish his master's program. We are two courses away. I remember a week to his personal way, we were still planning on how he will finish the two courses remaining by next semester. Um, we never knew um, our plans and our dreams would be, be cut short so quickly like this. But uh, I saw in, in Mike a very strong man who is very, very determined, despite the whole things that was going on around him. Even in, um, in, in academics, I remember the head of department, even in computer engineering, they were very, very upbeat about him. Mike actually, he fought, he was a fighter. He fought very, very hard, even till the dying moments, even till the morning that um, he was rushed to hospital, I couldn't meet it. Make, me, um, make it, he was actually still fighting, even till that point. Faithfully, um, by 8.30 around that same Saturday, the doctor called me that um, he has passed on, that uh, I should come to the hospital very early tomorrow morning so that they will brief us on um, what transpired um, during the intensive care unit um, um, treatment. And um, it was not an easy one. Um, every one of us were, I think I was even awake till morning, that same morning I was awake. And then um, we went to hospital after everything. It was, um, it was an experience I will never forget, but um, it was also a challenge to me and everyone that knows about the story that um, despite every challenge we are facing, we cannot actually fight on, and it can be the best that it can be. I bet this is against the human rights. It actually is. I was watching a video about this expert who was talking about this issue specifically. Look, look. I'm Baran Jamal. I'm the lobbying and advocacy expert of the Patient's Voice 2 project ran by Universal Patients Rights Association. What we try to emphasize as an organization is the fact that no, in Northern Cyprus, the, base, the main problem is the lack of resources or uh, mismanagement of the existing resources to create free, equal, and accessible healthcare system for all, including students, foreign students, visitors, refugees, whoever, Every human being that lives on this island temporarily or permanently should have the equal right to access treatment. Unfortunately, um, we saw many sad things happening 
including uh, the foreign student Michael's case, uh, and he sadly lost his life. And his life, uh, his, his death was not simply a misfortune. His death was quite preventable. Uh, if everything uh, was in order, at least basic human rights was, if the basic human rights were respected, Michael could still be alive. So all our hospitals right now, none of them, including the private hospitals, they don't have a proper patient support system. So when you, uh, there can be sometimes mistreatment, they can, there can be complications that are actually can happen anywhere. And usually when there is a mistreatment, this mistreatment is uh, ruled out most of the time as complication. But we do know that uh, most of the time, um, it's actually, there should be a process, a legal process maybe, a neutral one, an objective one, a, a just one, to say that no, the procedure that this person went through, there are possible complications, but this person was either not uh, um, informed about the possible complications, or what happened actually was not a complication, but was either a mistreatment, misdiagnosis, or lack of resources in the um, healthcare institution that they received the treatment. So this can range from uh, patients' rights being violated in terms of their right to access the latest technologies, patients' rights to, uh, to safety. Most of the time uh, we have trouble with these as well. Hospital rooms are full and there's not enough monitoring going on there. Um, and also the right to choose a doctor. We don't have enough physicians, enough uh, doctors in our hospitals. So even though people actually do have this right, it's not exercised. They cannot exercise this right. to see you again. I've actually been trying to text you, but to no avail. How, how is everything with you and... Um, everything is fine. Um, I'm currently trying to get into another school, which is very, very difficult. It's not so difficult, but yeah. I'm doing what I can do. It's actually a setback being sent back from Cyprus. I'm knowing that... Yeah, because when I... When I'm back I... by myself. What's it? So yeah. it's no, because like when I heard what happened and everything, I actually felt pretty angry. And you know what they've done to you is actually not so good. It's very inhuman. Do you get what I mean? That's true. Um, Recounting yeah. what happened from the day I was called to the police station to having to sleep there for a night wow. and being handcuffed to the airport with my luggage being told to drag my luggage with handcuffs on my hand it wasn't such a good image for people looking and i actually didn't feel good about myself i thought i was such a bad person but wow. apparently that's the law and i hope doing this things would actually change for the better yeah we hope for the best as well so like how, how are you holding up though like Um, it has not been easy, even though I took the whole thing really quietly, it right. has not been easy at all emotionally. Um, I actually had sponsors who took me, brought me to Cyprus. Okay. Um, while I was there, it was such an emotional stress because they yeah, weren't so financially able because I was owing fees and um I, I i would say the whole thing i don't know god has a reason for everything but That's while true. the whole while it was going on i wasn't so okay and even now while thinking about it 
it's still an emotional injury because I feel different. Even if I come back, even if I am able to come back to Cyprus tomorrow, but I, was, I wouldn't feel the same with yeah. myself. So, like, do you okay. actually wish to, you know, maybe sometime in the future come back to Cyprus? Um, I would want to come back for other reasons, but not the educational reason. Right. I wouldn't want to come to Cyprus to school. Right. What are like your future plans and stuff like that? What do you have in mind for the future? Um, I am currently going for lessons for an exam to get into the university. Okay. But I am hoping something happens that I get sponsored or I get a scholarship or something. Because right. um, schooling here is not so expensive, but I wouldn't say I'll be able to afford it on the long run. Right. So. Well. Yeah. That's, but that's, because I'm doing what I can. That's 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 at least some some good news that at least you're trying your best and you know you're not just sitting down and everything. So um, it was nice talking to you again. So if you need any help or if you need anything, you know that I'm always here to support and guide and you know as a friend and all of that. So hope to talk soon again. Have a good one. Okay, bye. bye. Well, we were talking about how inhumane the deportation process is, and we just wanted to know, like, in what way? Ah, and that friend of yours, yeah, that was deported, yeah, that was really sad, actually. I actually heard, like, many stories about this deportation issue, and it's really not, it's not human, actually, whatever is happening. So like basically, um, you know, we have to do like a residency permit as students. So you do it, you do the blood test and everything. So when they have like uh, a result that's positive, they ask you to do it a second time. So when you do it the second time and it's positive again, they don't even inform you. Like they just uh, alert the police then they arrest you. They take you into a cell. Uh, they arrange your ticket, they deport you, and they don't even give you time to go and pack your stuff. Like, they ask a friend to do it for you or someone that you know. Imagine, like, you are born with it and you come here because uh, there's nothing on the website that's talking about HIV or about health issues, about restrictions related to health. You get here, you start, you know, you're so happy to start university and everything, and then you realize that after two weeks, you have to be deported. HIV pozitif bireylerin ülkemizden sınır dışı edilmesi insan haklarına aykırı bir uygulamadır. Bununla ilgili gerekli yasal düzenlemelerin yeniden yapılandırılması gerekmektedir ve bunları insan hakları, insan hakları temelinde yapmak gerekmektedir. Bugün biz HIV pozitif yabancı uyruklu öğrenci ve çalışan herkes sınır dışı etmekteyiz. Bunun ne bilimsel ne de insani hiçbir ederi yoktur. Çünkü HIV pozitif kişiler tedavi altındayken kesinlikle bulaştırmamaktadırlar ve toplum için bir risk arz etmemektedirler. Ancak geri kalmış ülkelerin uygulamalarıyla ki bu dünyada sadece 3-4 ülke için geçerlidir ki pozitif bireylerin sınır dışı edilmesi. Bu nedenle yasaların yeniden yapılması gerekmektedir. Bugün bu çalışmalarla ilgili hepimiz e, ilgili hükümetlere başvurmuş durumdayız. Ancak henüz yeni bir yapılandırma söz konusu değil. Bu yüzden HIV pozitif kişilerin öncelikle belirlenip bunlarla ilgili tedavi prosedürlerinin duyurulması ve toplumun bu konuda bilgilendirilmesi gerekmektedir. HIV pozitif kimselerin sınır dışı edilmesi kesinlikle insanlığa aykırı bir uygulamadır. My name is Emmanuel Achiri and I am president of Voice Cyprus, an organization which represents foreign students in North Cyprus. As an organization which advocates for the rights of foreign students, we are obliged to critique um, the administration of Northern Cyprus for the treatment of foreign students, particularly um, their health care concerns. For this particular campaign, we are focusing on two legislations. Um, the first is the legislation which governs organ transplantation, and the second is the legislation on aliens and immigration. Um, for the first one, which is that which regulates organ transplantation, um, the reason why we are working on this is because we lost a friend, Michael, 
um, who was due to have an organ transplant but could not because the provision which exists did not or prevented him from getting this organ transplantation in time to save his life. To be quite specific, in order to benefit from an organ transplant, you either need to wait on the waiting list or it could be, have been provided by a family member or the authorization can be, get, can be gotten from your embassy, which is located here in North Cyprus. In this case, Michael, as a foreign student, um, could not um, benefit from this in time because his family member needed to have lived here for two years, in this case his brother, and he needed authorization from the Nigerian embassy, but we don't have a Nigerian embassy here in North Cyprus and his brother had not lived here for up to two years or was not even living here. So unfortunately he could not benefit from this and this is where we have a problem because as foreign students and we are over 90,000 of us here and we don't come here with our family so it's quite unfortunate that the legislation is, is so rigid as to not allow us to benefit from um, healthcare services which in this case was vital for Michael's life. So we are calling on the authorities to review this legislation so that it can allow us to benefit from the necessary health care that we need um, to lead um, healthy lives. The second legislation in case um, in this case is that on aliens and immigration, specifically the issue of deportation for persons infected with HIV or hep hepatitis B or C. Um, the current regu regulation, which is Article 6 sub 1C, of um, chapter 105 on aliens and immigration actually um, states that, and I'm paraphrasing here, that um, if someone is infected and if it is um, determined that this person is a risk to um, public safety, then this person should be deported. Now, it doesn't state that it has to be HIV or hepatitis B or hepatitis C. It says the determination of this infectious disease, which is a danger to public health and national security, would be um, made by the Ministry of Health. And um, as far as we are aware, currently, there is HIV, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. But our um, opinion on this is um, people should not be penalized for being sick. And um, there is already um, stigma for people who are HIV um, positive or hepatitis B or who are suffering from hepatitis C. So we don't need a state policy which enforces, not only enfor reinforces this stigmatization, but also criminalizes them for being sick. Rather, these are persons who um, deserve some specific attention from the state. And in this case, they are deported back to their counters. And we are calling on the authorities to stop this practice and actually provide um, emergency healthcare services to um, persons who are suffering from this because they do need, they do need this um, um, healthcare um, um, services. We are also, I mean, it's quite interesting to think about it because, um, for example, if a local were to have HIV or hepatitis B or C, this person is not quarantined away from the public. So they get to interact with others and interact with us. They are not considered a danger to public safety or to um, national security. So we don't understand why we should be considered as um, um, or persons who are suffering from this should be considered as, um, as um, a danger to national security. Rather, if they are provided with um, emergency treatment early enough, the, the transmission of these diseases gets to zero. So they are, not, they are no longer a threat to themselves or a threat even um, to, to, to the public. So we are calling on the authorities of Northern Cyprus to pay specific attention to this and to please consider the humanity of foreign students and especially our healthcare, because we come here to study, we come here to benefit from um, the opportunities of North Cyprus, and we want to do that knowing that we are safe and, um, and healthy. As a part of this campaign, Voice Cyprus, in collaboration with the Universal Patients Rights Association and a number of other organizations, has prepared a report which would be presented to the state. Um, as soon as we get the opportunity and if you want to read the full details of this report please click on the link in the description attached to this video.